I've been slowly building out my little network closet over the last couple of years, and I've been implementing Ubiquiti gear for my network and for my security cameras. It has been rock solid as I build it out, but this mess has gotten out of control. So in this video, I want to clean it all up and make the system more efficient and easier to manage. So here I am in my made bedroom closet, and it's not ideal that I'm sitting here in this closet because this closet can get warm. It's not the best location for this network equipment, but it's what I got. Starting off with the main networking gear, I am using Ubiquiti. First, I have the Unified Dream Machine, which does act as the internet gateway, and also it acts as the controller for my cameras that I have around the house as well. And that is connected to the 24 port uh, PoE Pro switch from Ubiquiti as well. And that does all the switching and of course provides PoE to things like my wireless APs and the cameras and other things uh, as needed, other switches. And below that I have a basic patch panel that just kind of does its job. It doesn't look very nice, but I mean, it does get the job done. So what is my goal for this equipment? It is first and foremost to clean this thing up. This thing is ugly. It's a mess. There are cables just strewn about. You can't really make sense of what's going on here, what's going where. There's cables coming from the back of the Synology up through that little blank spot into the switch. It's just gross. The first thing I'm going to do is shut everything down and then I'm going to move this 24 port switch. By adding a second patch panel, I'll be able to have a patch panel above and below the switch, which will allow me to have a cleaner setup. So when I run network connections from the patch panel on top to the switch, it will stay to the top ports on the switch and the bottom will stay to the bottom ports, making a better looking setup. I'm also using the 10 gigabit ports on the 24 port switch. One of those gives up to my office and the other one comes down to the Synology. Now I'm going to actually be changing this up because right now I have one cable going to the Dream Machine for network LAN stuff into the internet and I have one for the cameras. So I'm going to be removing these and adding in the Ubiquiti 8 port 10 gigabit aggregate switch. The aggregate switch is going to allow me to better use the ports that I'm using now and allow me to utilize 10 gigabits between the switch and the Dream Machine Pro. So now I'm going to shut all this down, remove the switch and start disconnecting the lines from the patch panel in the back. And like any good IT worker, you'll see that I've actually already labeled all these wires previously. So it'll be easy to figure out which one is which. And the patch panels that I'm putting in are the Ubiquiti patch panels because, well, of course they match the other Ubiquiti gear. The Unify patch panels are just 24 port keystone jacks. So you could put any keystone connector in there. I'm going to be color coding my patch ports. So blue will be going to clients, red will be the 10 gigabit connections and yellow will be the connection to the internet. And I'll finish off the patch panel with some color matched blanks from Ubiquiti. And the old patch panel is a punch down type. So I'm actually going to have to remove all of these and install RJ45 jacks on all of these connections. And I seem to never remember the color order. So I always have to look it up. It is white, orange, orange, white, green, and then blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. And one down, now I just have like 20 to go. Now I've finished adding RJ45 jacks to all of these connections and now my fingers hurt because that's a pain in the butt. Now, before I actually connect them to the back of the patch panel here, I'm going to be looking at these cage nuts. Yes, if you have ever experienced cage nuts in your life, these little rack nuts, these things that are used to screw devices into the rack, they are awful and I hate every single thing about them because they're hard to get in, they're hard to get out, and half the time they draw blood. So what we're gonna try out today are these little mounts called Patchbox by a company called Mount Dev or something like that. I'll put a link in the description below. But these should just slide right in like so, and then click in. So now all I need to do is basically align my equipment to sit on these posts, and then we have these two little thumb screws that will be used to hold and tighten. And that is so much cooler than the regular nuts and screws. I'm also removing the UDM Pro and all of the cage nuts to replace them with these toolless alternative wonders. Yeah, this is gonna make so many things so much easier in the future when I inevitably change things because all I have to do is pull off some thumb screws, I don't even need a screwdriver, and then slide it back on when done or put something new in. So I feel like now all the hard work is done and what I need to do is just get everything connected to the back of the patch panels and then get all the equipment back inside the rack. So we're finally all cabled up as far as the patch panels go. 
So we're gonna go ahead and put those in now and go ahead and secure them. And oh my God, I love these cage nut replacements. They're so awesome. Look at that, you just slide right on. They hold in place on their own. And then you just use these thumb screws to hold them in place. And here's my new 10 gigabit aggregate switch. Oh my God, look how nice that is. This is really starting to come together. And now I finished with racking the 24 port switch and the Unified Dream Machine Pro. I think this is all coming together really good and it looks awesome, but what do you guys think? For my patch cables, I decided to go with the Monoprice Slim Run cables. These are six inch Cat6 cables that are color matched to the colors that I added to my patch panel. And the smaller length should help eliminate some of the clutter. I'm also using some thin red SFP Plus cables for my 10 gigabit connections between the devices. And there we are. This looks so freaking good. I love how simple and neat it is all put together. This is a huge transformation from the mess I had before it. It just looks a hundred times better. I think it all came out looking pretty great. I no longer have cables running each and every way from behind the rack and across the devices. The uniformity of the Unify gear really just makes this look like a more professional setup and the colored cables just pop. I can, however, already see a couple of things I want to change, like moving the red 10 gigabit cables to the left as I actually don't need those two blue ports anyway, and I already have spares wired up. I'll probably do the same thing with the yellow internet cable, and then my two 10 gigabit SFP plus cables will just sit more vertical. I also keep checking the Unify site to see if I can snag one of those new Unify cable modems, but so far no luck. That will help me eliminate another piece of ugly equipment in there. But other than that, this was a pretty fun little project and I no longer need to look at my network rack gear in disgust. But what do you guys think? Is there anything else I should have done to make this look even better or did I just do it all wrong? Let me know in the comments down below. If this is your first time to my channel, definitely check out this video right over here. It's a good one. Hit the thumbs up button if you liked it. Hit subscribe if you want and I'll see you next time.